we all know, water conservation is highly important to all of us. And we were introduced to this project by the Wyland Foundation in their water conservation effort. And it is also an educational outdoor classroom that's teaching children about water conservation and plant selections. Plant selections that were made for this garden were made because they're low maintenance, low maintenance for the children, require very little water, and they'll be very easy for the children to watch as they grow and learn and see the results over years of what they can do with very low water consumption. Toyota shares its knowledge, its resources, and its time is to use that to help educate the young people. They're the ones that are going to inherit what we're trying to do here. We have to change the culture. If you want to protect the environment today, you know, talk to us, adults. But if you want to protect it for the future, you've got to get kids on board. You've got to get them involved. And art and science really come together in what the Wyland Foundation and our partners bring. It's about the kids, but it's a really important message, and that is that we have to start thinking of water as the precious resource that it is. Because we see droughts happening, like the drought that was in Texas a few years ago, the drought currently in California. It's important for us to spread the word that if you think about conservation, you can save yourself money, save energy, and have it available for the kids today and, and their children. And one of the things that EPA is trying to do is to just spread the word that these things are possible, they're good things to do. And we also have to recognize that EPA's job is to make sure that the rivers and streams that support so many people people's drinking water needs to be protected. They'll remember these experiences um, as they grow into adulthood. Outdoor water use is a big uh, burden on, um, on our water supplies, and so how to better use that water and use it wisely so you don't pr produce pollution, for instance, from over-fertilizing um, as an example. So it's a, it's a hand-in-glove effort related to uh, protecting that natural resource that we all have to have. When we educate them, when we teach them what we need to do today, I know that when they grow up, they'll be able to uh, know what they need to do. Conserve and be able to get the message across to everyone involved and have a better quality of life. Education, of course, is our first priority, but we're looking to use it as a focal point for parent engagement, instruction, have the kids talk to their parents saying this is what we're doing at school. With my students, I've already talked about how we can come out here and do uh, just things with the garden, doing some uh, pottery work, and just incorporate how we can use color here in the garden, uh, how the plants grow, so keeping a journal and conserving our materials as well. Who else would like to talk? First, let's ask uh, you. Come on up here. Tell us your name. Serenity. Yeah. What do you think about your new garden? Uh, I think it's beautiful. What are you going to plant in your garden? Um, roses. Roses? How come you want to plant roses? Because roses is my favorite. Yeah. Do you remember what the garden looked like before it changed? Yes. What do you think? What do you think about it now? I think... I think it looks beautiful.